Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This video will be a little different from the others because I will not follow the tour of Spain where I left off in the previous video because it was impossible for me to do it because of a formatting. To my hard drive by mistake which made me lose almost 20 hours of content that cost me more than a week to do so I'm sorry for the I will try to re-record everything so in the meantime let's continue. With the last recordings that I had left of Alicante which are the videos of the castle of San Fernando that I lost some time ago were the only recordings of the tour of Spain that I could recover so I hope you like it. As you can see in this video we start from the bottom of the hill where the castle is located and before we start talking we will see some history to understand this castle and why it was made. It was built on Mount Tossel, also known as Cerro de San Fernando, for during the War of Independence against the French in 1813 according to the project of the military engineer Pablo Ordebas, then commander of the Plaza de Alicante.5 it was made with. The purpose of being a prison and to strengthen the possibilities of defense of the castle of Santa Barbara. It never came into service, since in Alicante, the French occupation, but just barely, since the French general Louis-Pierre Montbrun bombarded the city on January 16, 1812 from the Altozano area, near the Church of Los Angeles. Apparently, it was a preview of the real attack that he intended to make to take the city, which did not take place because the general and his troops that same day went to France, required for the invasion of Russia. It was a work that was built quickly and badly, because soon after it began to show deficiencies. The bust of Heliophilo, work of Samper. After the Civil War it was dismantled and its current location is unknown. In the early 20th century, and the IE's Jorge Juan. At present, on the slopes of the hill is the sports city of Alicante, the music conservatory Oscar Espla, there is also the Ruiz de Alda Park that preserves the statue of Dr. Rico by Daniel Banyuls, promoter of the reforestation of the Tossel Inn, was a real disaster, including earthworks on the hillside, and had to be dismantled to build the current park, the Monte Tossel Park. In 1939 Franco's troops, with the capture of the city at the end of the Civil War, used the fortification as a concentration camp to house the huge number of Republican prisoners in their power. It served this function until the end of that same year, besides being militarily useless, as well as costly. Next to the access to the castle is the monument to the Alicante Heroes of Independence. To this day, the Castillo de San Fernando is in a state of abandonment that has provoked the complaints of many Alicante residents, who have seen how this place has become a dirty and unsafe place. A theme park was built on the Tossel, which, another of the monuments located around the castle is the so-called Cross of the Century, erected in 1901 and rebuilt in 1940 to commemorate the entry into the 20th century. In the access to the castle from the Barrio de San Fernando was Having seen a little of the history of this castle I will leave you with the last recordings I have left of the tour of Spain.
And before I leave you with the video I have to tell you that after the formatting I also lost the program I had to edit the videos and I switched to Premiere Pro so I hope you tell me in the description. How big is the change and if it is for better or worse so I will read you answer and give you hearts.
And that's all. If that's all I have left say videos that I did when I made the trip so sorry for the inconvenience for those who wanted to continue. With the videos but so far this is what I have recovered but I still have recordings of a village of Almeria Chu also recovered and I will post later so I hope you like it.